Question seven. In this circle, each shaded part is one fifth of the circle. The two white parts have equal areas. What fraction of the circle is one of the white areas? Well, the easiest way to do this is to actually use percentages. So we know that this fifth of the circle is 20%, because one fifth is 20%. This fifth of the circle, which is shaded, is also 20%. So, so far, the shaded parts of the circle is 20% plus another 20%, which is 40%. Now, if 40% of the circle has been shaded, the percentage that must be white must get that up to 100%. So the percentage that must be white must be the other 60%. So these two white areas must total 60% each, but they are equal. So we need to share 60% between two equal areas to get one of the white areas. 60% divided by 2 is 30%. So each of the white areas must be 30%. Now, if we write 30% in this box here, we're not going to get any marks because it does say what fraction of the circle is one of the white areas. And 30% is not a fraction. So if we turn 30% into a fraction, we can either write 30 out of 100 or 3 tenths. And they are the two answers that we can accept here. 30 out of 100, or even better, 3 tenths if you simplified it. As for the working out, what should we have written down? Well, we should have said that two shaded areas equal 40%. We've got that from the picture. 20 and 20 makes 40%. So the two white areas must equal 60%. So one white area must be half of this, so that would be 30%. And 30% into a fraction is going to be 30 out of 100, or 3 tenths. So there's your explanation.